Okay, today we're going to take another look at uh, Apple's Disk Utility. Uh, in my previous uh, tutorial, we covered use the use of Disk First Aid to verify and repair disk permissions and also to verify the disk, uh, disk structure or to repair the disk structure. Uh, in this lesson, however, we're going to go to discussion of erasure and uh, partitioning of the, the hard drive. Now, um, important thing to remember is if you have uh, already have a, a hard drive in your computer and you're going to add an additional drive, once you've added that additional drive, it has to be prepared to store data. That's what uh, partitioning the drive is all about. Uh, erasure of the drive is to clear off data, uh, making sure that it is clean. Uh, whether you're going to, maybe you're going to sell the thing to, uh, on eBay or something, you want to get the uh, drive cleaned up. So that's what the erasure can be used for. Partitioning is very, very important. Uh, and it, like I say, it does allow us to store data on the drive. Now, current partition scheme is there's nothing on there. I can go with one partition, or I can go as high as 16 partitions. Now, with this drive only being an 18 gig drive, 16 partitions uh, is going to be a huge number of little, just uh, one over one gig partitions. That would be kind of a waste. Uh, however, I'm going to go up down to 11 partitions. Well, that's a little better, but for my practical use, I'll probably go with three. Now, the nice thing about this is you can drag and drop the size of these partitions. Let's say I'm going to put uh, my boot partition here for my operating system and then I'm going to store program files here and then in the third partition I'll store data. So I click in the first partition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the name of it to boot and uh, I'm going to make sure it's a Mac OS extended journaled partition. Journaled partitions have the advantage of being recoverable uh, under Mac OS 10. The journaling uh, keeps track of all the changes made to the drive and the beauty of this is that uh, if anything happens, let's say a power failure happens, you can go back to, in theory, back to the point just prior to whenever the hard drive uh, power was cut off and uh, hopefully salvage your data. So that's the importance of this. The other options I have for, for uh, these are extended, which is not obviously protected by the journaling. And then there's a couple of other extended options here. Uh, which may apply to uh, to uh, other versions of the Mac OS, depending upon what you're going to do. Um, then MS-DOS, uh, if I've got it going onto a Windows machine, and I can even partition it out as free space. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the journaled. I'm going to click on the second partition. That is going to be, as I said, my programs. And then the third partition will be my data. Okay. Uh, options I have, I can uh, go with a partition table uh, for the Intel-based Macs or for OS 10 for or later. I can also go with one with a partition match, ma uh, map that uh, is traditional Apple partition mapping, uh, and it basically will be for a PowerPC-based Mac or a non-startup disk with any Mac. So it's just if it's just storage, this is a good one. Uh, master boot record is for DOS and Windows machines and it makes something that works with them. Now if I want to store data on it, uh, I can also do this. Uh, if I'm just going to store data and I'll move it back and forth between Mac and PC. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, one that will be compatible with OS 10.5. Tell it OK. And uh, I tell it Apply. Now it's going to ask if you really want to do this. I'm going to tell it Yes, partition it. And you'll see the partition, uh, partitioning happens rather quickly. Uh, it doesn't take very long to do this this task. Uh, there are several tasks like this that are fairly quick, and the idea is to uh, uh, you know to again allow time to do the job properly, and, and realize even if, even if it's quick, uh, it does take time to do these things. So you'll notice it's churning away pretty fast. This is only only an 18, 18 gig drive, so it shouldn't be uh, 18 gigabytes uh, in today's uh, standard of hard drives is not that much space. And it's churning through it pretty quickly. It'll take a couple more minutes to uh, wrap that up. And uh, 
So we'll go ahead and do that. And it's almost done. And the interesting thing happens. Uh, I've got running in the background on this uh, system uh, Norton's antivirus. And unfortunately, uh, the antivirus is going to see this as something it needs to scan, uh, specifically because it's plugged into the USB port uh, and is a USB drive. It is going to uh, say, well, wait a minute, this needs to be scanned. So it's creating the partitions. And uh, it, it sees all three partitions. And the, the, like I say, the thing is that a lot of times it will go ahead and scan it. Uh, in this case, it didn't, didn't scan it, it didn't find any problems. It must have scanned very quickly because sometimes you'll actually see the thing flicker. Uh, this time it didn't. Okay, so pretty cool. So I've got my three partitions here and I'm good to go. Now let's look at erasure. Let's say you just got a bunch of data you want to clear off of a drive and you don't want to do much else with it. Let's say I'm going to store data on this removable drive to port back and forth between my Mac and my PC. So I'm going to change this to, uh, you know, to an MS-DOS fat or FAT partition. And that's what I'm going to do with it. And uh, so I'm going to erase uh, whatever I select here. That data is what I'm going to get rid of here. And I'm going to call that, whoops, it slipped. My bad there. Uh, anyway, slip, slip over there and mark it as data. I'm going to change that to DOS. Okay, so that's going to store uh, DOS information. I could even be more accurate and give it some other more meaningful name. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to erase. Uh, I can also erase free space and actually do some uh, security type erases of 7 pass or 35 pass. But zeroing out deleted files works decent if you're going to reuse it yourself. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and erase the free space on there real quick. And it says securely erasing file. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the fact that you should do that. Now notice one hour and two minutes. Now in this case I'm going to tell it, no, we're not going to do this. So I'm going to skip that and we'll go ahead and go back and uh, I don't have enough time in this demo to do this. So what I'll do is on security options uh, on that particular directory, and again I'm going to call that DOS. I'm going to erase it. I'm not going to uh, put any security options in place. I'm just going to erase it. And it will take just a very short time to erase this drive. Uh, the things disappear from the desktop and suddenly it cleans it up and back when it remounts all of your partitions you notice you have a DOS partition which now can store uh, MS-DOS information. Okay, this completes our brief demo of the uh, use of disk utility. I want to thank you for your time and if you have any need for computer help or information uh, come by my website at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby. Uh, you can also go to Google or Bing and uh, do a search for Krabby's Place. And you can even leave off the apostrophe on Krabby's and it still seems to find it. So Krabby's Place and look for the uh, URL that says Welcome to Krabby's Place. I want to thank you for your watching and have a great day.